Hi booktube, I'm here with my first video in a exploration series, I'm gonna call it. Um, and the idea behind the series and the thing that I'm exploring is AI. Specifically, can AI run a booktube channel? Um, so yeah, the idea is that um, each video is gonna get uh, more progressively reliant on AI. Um, and I want to see at the end um, different issues or things that may arise. I don't know what's going to arise yet um, because I haven't um, done everything for it yet. All I've done so far is use ChatGPT to generate some stuff. Um, so this first video is uh, just something actually more realistic, something that I have tried before is asking ChatGPT for um, ideas. Um, what kind of videos I kind of asked it you know can you give me a list of these videos and I did ask it to get more specific so I asked it a lot of questions for this video um, but this is something realistic that you can do when you're coming up with ideas you know I kind of viewed this part of chat BTT chat GPT as almost like an extension of searching the internet because um, you can search Google um, whatever search engine you use um, and you know f find these ideas yourself or you can go to chat GPT and they'll kind of consolidate it all for you um, so yeah that's what I'm doing here is kind of behind the scenes stuff I needed some ideas for my booktube channel um, so let's see what chat GPT came up with uh, so I came up with some generic stuff uh, book review it says choose a recently released or popular book that you've read and share a comprehensive review discuss the plot characters writing style and your overall thoughts and feelings about the book consider including a rating or recommendation at the end typical booktube fair right the second video suggestion was reading challenge update um so if you participate in any reading challenges such as the goodreads reading challenge or themed reading challenge Create an update video, share your progress, your favorite books from the challenge so far, and any challenges you've encountered along the way. That seems, you know, pretty uh, interesting idea if you do that. Um, author Spotlight. This was an interesting one. Um, highlight a specific author whose work you admire, who has had significant impact on your reading journey, discuss their background, notable works, writing style, and why you believe they're worth exploring for your viewers. Uh, the next video, I asked for five ideas, I believe. Uh, is a genre deep dive. Uh, so take a deep dive into a particular book genre that you enjoy or that you think your audience might be interested in. Discuss the defining characteristics of the genre, recommend books within that genre, and explain what makes it appealing to you. And the last suggestion was a bookshelf tour, um, which I always want to do, but like there's 1500 books on my shelf, so <laughs> It's not always realistic for me to do that. If I had a smaller bookshelf, it would be easier. Anyways, give your viewers a tour of your bookshelf or bookshelves. Um, share your organizational methods, your favorite books, any special editions or collectibles you have. You can also discuss how you curate your collection and any reading goals related to your bookshelf. Ends with a reminder to engage your viewers through comments, questions, and calls to action in your videos. So, <laughs> go and register to vote. There's my call to action. Um, in your videos to foster a sense of community and encourage interaction on your channel. These videos ideas should help you create engaging content for your book focused YouTube channel. Interesting. Um, so then I asked them to get more focused um, specifically for the month of October because we are in October and there's lots of things happening in October particularly Halloween. Um, so it says, create a Halloween or spooky themed content for your book and reading YouTube channel is a great idea, especially during the month of October. Here are some Halloween themed videos f ideas for your channel. Top 10 spooky book recommendations. Compile a list of your top 10 favorite spooky or Halloween appropriate books. Describe each book's plot briefly and explain why it's perfect for the season. I think we'll see a plethora of those videos um, coming up this, year, this month. A Halloween reading TBR, so a Halloween themed TB read uh, list for the month of October. It, it's interesting that it picked up on, you know, things like TBR and stuff like that. I discussed the books you plan to read that you have a spooky or eerie vibe and your reasons for choosing them. I've already picked up my TBR. I don't really do theme months, um, but I know some people do. Um, 
three author spotlight. They're really into these author spotlights. Um, and the author spotlight this time is classic horror authors. Dedicate a video to classic horror authors like Edgar Allan Poe, H.P. Lovecraft, Shirley Jackson, or Bram Stoker. Discuss their contributions to the horror genre and recommend their most famous works. See, for me, I'd recommend books that you probably haven't heard of. Like, their lesser known works. Um, because everyone's heard of the most famous works, hopefully. But that's still an idea. Like, these are just ideas that you can bounce off of and use, right? Um, next is DIY bookish Halloween decor. Um, so get creative and de demonstrate how to make book-themed Halloween decorations. You can show viewers how to create spooky book covers, bookmarks, or bookish decorations for the Halloween celebrations. That would be kind of cool if I had the time and the patience <laughs> to do that. Uh, right now I just, I don't, but that's a good idea. Um, scary short story read aloud is another idea. Choose a short spine-tingling story from the public domain or lesser-known author and read it aloud. Create a cozy atmosphere with dim lighting and spooky decorations for added effect. My, my question there, okay, I get public domain, but like, lesser known author, like, I'm gonna, you know, get around the copyright by hoping that they don't find my channel. I don't know. Um, next, book to movie adaptations, horror edition. Compare a horror book to its film adaptation. Discuss the similarities and differences, including which version you found scarier or more engaging. It's, it's been done. I'm not I'm not I'm not poo-pooing these ideas. I'm just saying like these are ideas that I've seen. Um so my thing here with ChatGPT is that it is pulling from the internet, so these are things that are commonly done. I'm not saying they're bad ideas, I think they're actually great ideas. Um it's just what I'm pinning out there. Um and then there's spooky book tags. Um, participate in the Halloween themed book take challenge. You can find or create book takes with questions related to spooky or horror books. Uh, then there's a haunted bookstore or library tour. Um, you know, if there's a local haunted bookstore or library in your area, film a tour and share any spooky stories or legends associated with the location. It's a unique way to tie in your love of books with Halloween. Um, or you can just... I, I didn't... I did my haunted locations in Fredericton before I did this. Um, I don't know if there's any particular bookstores that are haunted and our library is a fairly new library despite being downtown which has some older buildings um, but I don't think our library is haunted um, yeah uh, then there's book character costume ideas so offer costume uh, ideas inspired by book character show viewers how to recreate these costumes complete with makeup and props to celebrate the holiday in a bookish style. They're expecting a lot from me in this, in this idea. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, I'm not a big costume person, so I'm sure someone else would appreciate this idea. Uh, next is the Halloween book haul, a, a booktube staple. Share your recent book acquisitions with a Halloween toss. Share your recent book acquisitions with a Halloween twist. Highlight any spooky or horror-themed books you've added to your collection and explain why you're excited to read them. Remember to create a cohesive theme for your channel during the Halloween week, perhaps using Halloween-themed graphics, music, or background decor to set the mood. Engage with your audience by encouraging them to share their favorite spooky reads or Halloween book traditions in the comments. This can help foster a sense of community and excitement around your Halloween content. So, you know, there's that. Um... And so I got those ideas, and then I wanted to ask more specific questions again about, like, okay, these are some ideas, can you then give me a full month of videos, and when I should upload them? So it gave me, uh, with two videos a week, so it gave me uh, eight videos, and I, sh according to them, should be uploading them on Mondays and Thursdays. Um... And it's a sample schedule for uploading two videos per week on your YouTube channel dedicated to books and reading for a month, along with corresponding video ideas. So, week one, Monday, would be a book review. Choose a recent or popular book you've read and provide a detailed review. Consider discussing the plot, character's writing style, and your overall rating or recommendation. Number two would be uh, uploaded on Thursday, and it would be a TBR for the month. Me personally, I'd switch them and have the TBR... See, I upload my TV TBR at the end of the previous month, just because I'm gonna. I, I want to begin the month with the reading that <laughs> I want to read that month. But 
this one has it different. I know some people upload into October, um, but you know that's not just not what I do. Um, so share the books you plan to read in the upcoming month. Explain why you chose them. Why you're looking forward to reading each one. I'm not going to go through all of them because some of them are ideas that were previously discussed by um, ChatGPT. So Monday is an author spotlight. It doesn't provide me with an author. Um, it just says discuss their background, notable books, writing style, why you recommend them. Thursday's video would be a vlog. Um, take your viewers along on a day of reading. Show your reading process, share your thoughts as you read, and discuss any surprises or insights you have while reading. Uh, video number five would be the genre spotlight that we talked about before. Video number six on the Thursday of week three would be a bookshelf tour. Here's my bookshelves behind me. Aren't they beautiful? Um, and week number four would be the Halloween special week since it's October. That's exactly what, the, what it says on the screen. Um, so um, the first video on Monday would be Halloween book recommendations. So provide a list of your top 10 spooky or Halloween appropriate books and explain why each book is perfect for the season. And then the last video, uh, Thursday of that week, would be a spooky short read aloud, um, which relates to a previous suggestion. And there's like, feel free to adapt the schedule to your preference and topics you're most passionate about. Consistency is key, so try to stick to your upload schedule to keep your audience engaged. I know I don't take this <laughs> advice. I'm very kind of sporadic with my posting. Um, I think they're trying to give, you know, generic advice that you find when you do kind of Google this stuff. Um, and it probably works. I just, I just, adult life happens. I have other priorities in life that I don't always upload consistency. Um, additionally, you can mix in occasional bonus videos, collaborations, or Q&A sessions to keep your content fresh and engaging. Um, yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, and then lastly, um, I wanted to ask some specific questions, some questions that I first had when I first started BookTube. And it was uh, the best day and times um, to upload. Um, and this was a suggestion by ChatGPT. They said the best day and times to upload videos to YouTube can vary depending on your target audience and content niche. I hate that word. I got a niche down. This, this, the gooeys. Um, <laughs> however, here are some general guidelines to help you maximize views and engagement. Uh, if that's what you want to get out of your channel. Um, so, it says, first, weekdays versus weekends. Weekdays, Tuesday through Thursday, many creators find that uploading videos on these days tend to yield higher views and engagement. Viewers are often more active during the work week, uh, weekends, Saturday and Sunday. While weekends can also be good for uploading, viewer activity may be lower as people are often engaged in other activities or taking breaks. Um, I guess that's for people who work, you know, Monday to Friday. I, I, my schedule's not at all like that. I'm not going to try and explain my work schedule to you. It confuses everyone but myself. Um, two, optimal upload time. Morning uploads between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. This is a popular time because many viewers check YouTube during work breaks or while they're waking up. Early evening uploads between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. This is another prime time as people tend to relax and launch content after work or school and to take time zone considerations. Um, Keep them in mind. If your audience is global, consider scheduling uploads that cater to different time zones. This is interesting. I tend to upload at 9.30 because I know I'll be awake by then and then I can... I usually post... I usually schedule my videos so I have them uploaded like a week or two before they go um, live. Um, but I'll know those days I probably will be at work and I, I have some free time around that time there I can just try and promote the video on other sites. Um, number three, we have to analyze the audience. Use YouTube analytics to understand when your specific audience is most active. Your audience's behavior may not align exactly with general trends, so tailor your upload schedule to your preferences. Number four, consistency matters. Consistency. <laughs> Stick to a consistent uploading schedule. Whether you choose to upload on specific days or times, maintaining a regular schedule helps your audience know when to expect new content. So this is a question I have for you, and I've wanted to ask this a while for some people. Like, do you really notice if someone uploads Mondays and Thursdays, like, every, like, those times? Like, because me, I, d I don't, 
pay attention. I have, you know, my list of people I'm subscribed to and I go to my subscription page each day and add stuff to my watch later list. So like, I don't know what day of the week it is that you've uploaded. I really don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. So I guess some people must because it's constantly said, you know, I'll see you on Thursday. Oh, my Thursday video is going to be uploaded on Wednesday instead. I'm sorry. And I'm just like, oh, really care like I don't, I don't schedule my life around YouTube and your uploads um that's just my personal opinion I don't know if people maybe maybe do that I don't know anyways that's just a little off off rant that's not about AI stuff at GPT uh, fifth recommendation here is to experiment and monitor don't be afraid to experiment with different days and times to see what works best for your channel um, and the last suggestion is consider your content type Think about the type of content you create. For example, if you create educational content, uploading before major exams or during back to school periods might be strategic. Remember that YouTube's algorithms takes various factors into account when recommending videos, including watch time, engagement, and viewer history. While the timing of your uploads can influence initial views, the quality and relevance of your content are ultimately key to long-term success on the platform. Um, so yeah, those were kind of like the, the stuff that happens before um book the filming and everything um so that's kind of like the background using ai to get ideas for videos um let me know uh your thoughts on this do would you use ai to help you get ideas for your videos and thank you for watching